So hi everyone. In the on reverse video, you also uh, know how to generate the IBM and VOP. So, so on the step, you just consider about the uh, downhorn equipment tipping. So now in this chapter, you will see the one surface equation job and pipeline that will affect your flow rate. First, I will talk what is a job. Here I have some model of a reduction, the IPR reservoir to the bottom hole, VOP, uh, fluid moving up, bottom hole to the surface. Here I will have one well head and it will connect the chalk uh, through the flow line. So the chalk is the, the equipment that transport the fluid from the well head to a dot of uh, felicity that is many for. Here, this is one example of the world head. Um, in your world head, at your only you know in the first chapter, you will see it will connect with one chalk and the chalk will affect your pressure radian. So, there are three simple flow for the chalk. First, it's the oil flow. In the chalk, sometimes they ask you to find the pressure radian that the chalk affects your well head pressure, or uh, they want to ask you about the output. This is a pressure P2 here. This is what they want. They, they ask you to uh, find the output that the uh, pressure will back to the storage or something like a manifold. And then one more note for you in here. This is a big one. It means the inlet is always greater than the B2. It means the outlet uh, inside the chalk will rate uh, value than the outside the chalk. So for oil flow, you will have the uh, delta P between the um, P1 and P2. It's just consider about the friction, why potential and chaotic is not in your potential. It means you should change in the rav uh, gravity. However, it's just the, um, the flow line is mainly horizontal. Gravity is not effect for the uh, kinetic if we talk about the velocity, however, the D, if you remember in the equation, the uh, flowing tubing side, it keeps constant in the shock because the inside and outside which have the same diameter flow line. For the gas flow, we should give uh, input on the, uh, on the given parameter to find the P2 outlet down pressure. For the two phase, we will find the um, uh, Gilbert equation to apply to find the uh, to find the output A B C and D sixty four is equal uh, about the uh, Gilbert co coefficient. Uh, the reason why we consider about flow first is a vertical flow. Uh, the flow in the chart it will show you how effect of the chart will affect your pressure drop uh, by the twin you find the ratio between P2 and P1. So now for run to the example, I just take the example in your tutorial and explain it for you. So now in the first one, you have the uh, flow rate Q of injection water well. You have the length uh, equal 3000, 1.5 in for the flow line. Well, head pressure equal 100. They ask you to find pressure at a booming station. So here I have one uh, flow chart. Oh, wait. This is about the injection well. Uh, here. And this is your well head. Uh, uh, for the uh, for the uh, bumping pressure of well head is uh, of one hundred, and they ask you to find the uh, pressure at the injection well. So. You have some parameter like this. 
your warhead, it means your B, B2 equal 100, this I. The uh, B1, they ask about the PSI in here. So you will see this is very same with the uh, equation of the uh, workflow of the job. We have the uh, inflow, I mean inlet pressure at the uh, inlet pressure at injection well. After that, we have the outlet, it's the well head pressure. So to find the uh, B1, you just input the equation for the uh, oil, I would say this is fluid flow here. Just uh, the uh, Raynon already calculated. You should use the Moody chart to find the uh, friction factor on the equation in here. Uh, L equal 3000. The uh, flow rate Q you can change. This is a flow rate change from velocity. D, however, D you should consider this is a D about the flow line, not the tubing. Yeah, you should consider about the um, chalk not disturbing anymore. After you find the delta P, change the unit by divide for 144. This is a pressure delta B U1. And here, delta B equal B1 divide for B2. However, B2 equal 100. So B1, this is the sum of B2 and the uh, different in pressure. Here you have a uh, 245. This is the pressure at the booming station. So now for the next example, this is apply the Gilbert and generate the uh, job performance curve. So here I have the well Gilbert equation. You have some uh, data the A, B, C. This coefficient for D is B64. However, when you apply, it means you input the D, you just input the 16 or 24 and um, 32. You don't need to put the 64 because this is just the 64, um, the, the, the step, 64 step of chalk. So here, after you input on data, you have some, um, you have the um, equation re related to the flowing tipping. Um, pressure for the uh, flow rate here you will see the, the job then see the uh, generate for you however if your 16 uh, 64 it means that your your efficiency of your job is higher than the higher than the other however the pressure it means the, the output is very high so, so it means that the well head, you will input your pressure at the surface is very high too, and it should greater than the tubing uh, flowing pressure. So now they know sample in your Excel. I will show you the performance in the Rosberg. Here I have the uh, gas well. I will show you some BVT data. My gas gravity. Just the same 0 0.7, condensed gas ray 0 0.0036, gravity 28. Uh, for the uh, IPR curve, I use the CNN with the pressure equal 4000, temperature 195, CNN already calculated. And this is my IPR curve, it's, and this is the reverse symbol. For the VLP, now in here, uh, your depth, I already uh, input. This is your surface equation. And here you see, they ask you to have the chalk high and fitting. About the chalk, uh, there are some conditions you need from the service company and they will show you their manual. They have some different chalk. And in this example, they, um, I, I want to show you how to find the suitable chalk if we have the IP and VOB curve. Now, in this step, we just uh, forget it and just cancel and for that one, just tipping uh, for the temperature, surface 175 and the down horn 185. For the IPR and VOP, also use the vertical lift correlation in pregnant bill, wellhead 1000. 
Yeah, it's a young solution of the well delivered thing. And here you will see it will have your operating point. So now we will apply this flow rate, it means the gas flow will equal 28 to find the suitable shock at the well head. Uh, Besides, there one thing I want to show you this is the velocity 67 feet per second. It means it's very fast. Uh, your well is just 8,000 feet. It means you have the divide equation 8,000 divided by 67. And the, uh, the time that the flow moving from bottom hole to the well head is just 2 or uh, 2.5 minutes. It's very fast. So now to find the chalk performance, you form to the calculation. In here, you will see the chalk performance. Click on it. Uh, first, there's something I want to show you. This is about a ratio drop. If you want to check your performance of chalk, you will have the chalk side first. However, um, this is just the back side. It means you if uh, if you choose your suitable chalk. You can calculate risk drop that the chalk will um, suitable for your model or not. However, in this one, I don't have the chalk, so I will to predict the chalk setting for the condensate gap rate 0 0.0036. No gap. Inlet, it means the uh, well head pressure. My well head pressure equal 1000. Temperature, it is a well head temperature. Output, in here, my output. I want, I can uh, assume it, and I want my output, it is a 600 BSI. My gas rate at the wellhead is 28. Now, uh, there are some chalk method. If you choose the petroleum expert, you do not see about the uh, chalk performance. If you choose the other hydro, it means your your, uh, your, your data, yeah, water, you should have water. So you just do the EOF, it is a check for your chalk performance plot, calculate. Here, you will have your chalk testing. It is the diameter of the chalk, it is 1.4 inch. The output and the critical rate. Here, you also have the uh, chalk performance plot. Uh, your gas right in here. And this will have your output at a wellhead. So this this step is just for you to check to find the um, the chop. So if you have the chop setting, it means the chop side before you can input it uh, back to the uh, predict the pressure drop. And here, however, in the practical, you will have the chop decide the ink. The uh, in of diameter of the shock before, and that we will predict the pressure drop is when the outlet pressure. Here, if I put my shock setting equal to three, I just calculate it. Here you will see the pressure output is very near like input. So, if I reduce the shock side to two, what happens? The outlet pressure is reduced. Why? Because your gas rate is very high. So if I change it to 10, it can it can be, um, so you will see some collision. Your chalk still, the output is still very high. And if you apply this to your VLP equation, what if happen? If your chalk setting, if your chalk setting equal, uh, you know, just one second rate. Now, if your job setting equals 1.4, what happened in your VOP condition? I just done here for the surface. I did it. I choose the job. Uh, the job is a 1.4 inch. However, temperature surrounding it is a well head temperature. For the gas, the U equal 1. I just done. Done. Here you will see the change in the IPR. Some parameter I keep the same. Vertical lip collision also back and build. Here you will see that if you input the job, 
your gas rate is now is lower than what you need, and the pressure is increasing. So, as I said before, the gas rate we cannot, uh, the gas rate, the gas rate we can manage them. However, the the pressure increase it doesn't suitable. So, uh, sometimes you should consider body job in your VOP and that will make your model become more, more accurate in the practical. So this is all the need in this chapter. Thank you for your watching.